Welcome to part two of Simple Pong in Python 3 for beginners. Um, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to add our paddles to the screen, and we're going to add the ball uh, to the screen as well. So let's get started with that. Um, so basically what we, we have in Pong is we have paddle, I'm going to call it paddle A. Uh, we have paddle B, and we have a ball. So those are the three items that we need to add to the screen. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the previous video, we are using the turtle module to uh, you know, add our graphics and to open our windows and things like that. It's very, very convenient. It works great for basic games. A lot of people use uh, Pygame, which is great, um, but for simple games, this is probably an easier way to get started. Um, so everything uh, in our game needs a name. So I'm going to call it Paddle A, very original. And it is actually going to be a turtle, what's known as a turtle object. So to do that, it's turtle dot capital turtle. Notice the capitalization. Small t, because that is our module name. Capital T, because that is the class name. Now, as this tutorial is aimed at beginners, I'm not going to talk about classes. Uh, I'm not writing it object-oriented style. I'm just writing it in you know functional style, although there are some object kind of mm, patterns here you'll, you'll see. Uh, but for beginners, don't worry about that stuff for now. Um, so then what I want to do is paddle A. I need to set the speed. Now this is not the speed that the paddle moves on the screen. This is the speed of animation. This is just something we need to do for the turtle module. And what this does is it sets the speed to the maximum possible speed. Otherwise things would be really slow. Um, we want to give our paddle a shape. And there are a few built-in shapes. And we're going to use square in this case. Okay, there's circle, square, um, Let's see, circle, square, triangle, a few others. Uh, we're going to give our paddle a color. And we're just going to call it white because that's what Pong looks like. And we're going to uh, basically do something called pen up. Um, turtles, by definition, what they do is they draw a line as they're moving. We don't need to draw lines because that's not what this program does. So we do the pen up. And I want my paddle A to start at minus 350, that's an X coordinate, and zero in the vertically centered in the screen. So in our game, zero, zero is in the middle, minus 350, plus 350. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that and see what it looks like so far. Okay, so this is our left paddle. Um, now, you know, you've played Pong, you've seen the, 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 the demo from the first video. Clearly, it's not the right size. Um, so what we can do uh, in our program is this. Now, just, just for your information, uh, by default, that shape is 20 pixels by 20 pixels. So it's 20 pixels wide by 20 pixels high. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch the shape. So we'll use the shape size method. You can see I'm using Visual Studio Code. It's a very good program, even though I'm on a Mac. And it tells you, you know, what you can do. Stretch width, stretch length, etc., etc. So what I want to do is I want to stretch the width by 5. So that's going to be 5 times 20. So that'll make it 100 tall and then by 20 wide. And stretch length is going to be one. We're just going to keep it at the default. So let's save that and run it. Okay, so you can see now we've got a paddle over here, 20 pixels wide by 20 pixels high. Okay, now, uh, so that's paddle A. Now I'm kind of a lazy guy, so I'm just going to copy this. So what I always recommend, if something's similar, similar styles or similar, you know, functions, you know, get it working right once and copy it, paste it, and just make the necessary changes. So now that we've done that, we just need to change that to B. So if you keep consistent names, it'll really help your programming. In this case, we want it to go on the right side of the screen, so that's going to be plus 350. So I'm going to run that and test it. And testing your program is very, very important uh, at each stage. A lot of beginners, I don't know why, they insist on typing the whole program in and then trying to test it. And you'll never be able to figure out where the problems are, especially as a beginner, uh, unless you do it step by step like this. So we got our left paddle, we got our right paddle, so I just called it, I said paddle A, paddle B. And then the last thing we need 
is going to be our ball. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy this because it's basically the same thing. I don't need it stretched. I want to keep it the original size. And I want it to start in the middle of the screen. And I'm going to call it ball instead of paddle. So you see, once if you do it like this method, if you get everything working correctly, there's no errors and you tested it, then you just copy and paste. It really speeds up your programming. Okay, so I'm going to run that one more time. Okay, you can see we've got our left paddle, paddle A, our right paddle, paddle B, and we've got our ball, which is starting in the center. So we're off to a good start. So I'm going to stop this part right here, and in the next part we'll uh, take a look at some uh, features to get, get things moving. All right, thank you.